Rainwater Harvesting Part 3 Impact of One Community Rainwater harvesting can have a major positive impact on a community such as the one at the Bara TR Community Center in rural southern India which is in partnership with the Lift Kids organization. While a school can start to make a change in regards to rainwater harvesting, a village community has the potential to make an even greater impact. Many villages have access to open land through village councils. With these open lands, water ponds can be built to store the collected rainwater. These ponds can be used to supply water for agricultural irrigation, livestock, sanitation, hygiene, cooking, and drinking. The community may also have access to rivers which may only flow during the rainy season. Small overflow dams, also known as check dams, can be built to hold water that would normally run off in a few short days. Let's first start with water ponds. Water ponds are used to collect rainwater in areas where they receive little rain or it only rains during certain times of the year. Water ponds can be of any size and shape, but one important consideration should always be the depth of the ponds as well as strategic placement. Because the rainwater needs to be held for extended periods of time, and the areas that need water ponds are typically in hot, arid climates, evaporation is a major concern. The deeper a pond is relative to its length and width, less evaporation will take place. The size of the pond should also be dug based on the actual use and rainfall cycles for the area. Vegetation should also be placed around the pond to help minimize erosion and evaporation. While the vegetation will drink from the pond, the benefits of having it there outweigh the costs. Also, as the vegetation matures, it will provide shade to the pond, thereby reducing evaporation. Ideally, there would be three separate ponds for each village. One for human consumption, one for animal consumption, and one for agriculture. These ponds must, however, be strategically placed. The ponds for human consumption must be placed at a higher elevation than the other ponds. This is to keep the water from the animal and agricultural ponds from mixing with the water designated for human consumption. Now, let's discuss overflow or check dams. In many arid environments in the world, when it rains, it will rain in great amounts, but only for short periods of time. In these areas, the ground is extremely hard and as a result will not accept very much moisture. The rainwater hits the ground and runs off to the lowest point and forms a river in doing so. This river will receive water from further up the channel and the water will continue to flow to the sea. Some of this water can be trapped and utilized by building overflow dams. Overflow dams are small dams that catch only a portion of the water and holds it. Any amount of water greater than what the overflow dam will catch is allowed to flow over the dam and move downstream. That way, other villages further down the stream can collect water in the same manner. Here are some of the ways that you can get involved. Become an activist for rainwater harvesting. Get involved with the Global Water School at the Bara TR Community Center in India. Go to liftkids.org, check out the site, and make an online donation or get involved to help a sustainable water harvesting village.